Less steel piece of stripping to control and adjust post processing volume. I created a slider. If you don't know how to create it, watch my previous video. This is the script to print out the values of slide if its values change. This is how it works in Visual Scripting. We're going to send this value to C script and print out as this. It needs some files to do it. You need to import Visual Scripting Plus to do it faster. You can download it with a link under this video. You can watch my older video to make these files by your own also. After importing, you will get the folder Visual Scripting Plus. Now add a CSAT strip to object slider. Name it data to CSAT, no space, or any names you like. Next, open this CSAT strip. You can get this code under this video. Add required namespace into. Then copy all the rest to our current CSAP script. First line is the trigger from CSAP sent to Visual Scripting. These variables are initial variables we will use in this CSAP script. Object name is the object holding this CSAP script. Variable sending to tell Visual Scripting is sending data to this CSAP file. Let's create a variable sending from this slider object. It should be a string. Is sending is a variable in CSAP script. We're going to compare this sending to know what event will be called. Name of event want to handle here. If values of slider are changed. Set variable sending to name of event want to handle. Reset this variable to the initial value after. Next, we will store the value of slider into float variable. Remove the debug log. We will call it again in CSAP script. After save value of float to variable file float, print it out to debug log. Function C return in folk is the trigger to visual scripting. Event with same name will be triggered in visual scripting. After we're done with CSAT script, we need to add it in Visual Scripting. Add our CSAT script to Visual Scripting node. Now we can see CSAT functions in Visual Scripting.
function C return info will trigger this event. After sending new value to C subscript, reset variable sending. Press play to see if it works. It works very well. Just change the object name and event name in C separate. That's it. Next, let's apply this value slider to post processing component. We have post processing volume component from object camera. We're going to change the need intensity with slider value. This is the CSAP code to apply the need values from post processing. You can get the code with the link under this video. Copy on this code to our current CSAP script. At start, it will get post processing volume and finite settings. This function to turn finite on and off, and this function to adjust intensity value of finite. Copy this function name. We're going to apply new value of intensity of finite after slider value are changed. Because Post-processing not on slider object, it's on camera object. We need to find and get it from object camera. Now you can control the post-processing with a slider and visual scripting. Let's add a button to turn on off the need. Add event on button click. This is called from slider object. We need to find button object. After button is clicked, add new event to C script. Name it Vanille on off. We can copy this event to make another one. Change event name is the need on off same in visual scripting. If it is true, reset this variable. To turn the need on off, we will use function above. Copy it. This function needs an input true or false value. To get the current state of the need, use the need active variable. Press play and you will get this result. Use this symbol to add many more post processing values.
that you want user can change it directly on your app. Please like and subscribe my channel to get more tutorials. Comment below what tutorial you want me to make in next video. Thank you for watching.